Bob Duback. Give it up for Bob Duback. I have figured out how to solve partisan politics. What we do is we eliminate the two-party system. No more Republicans, no more Democrats. We combine the strengths and the truths of both parties into one new super after-hours party. <laughs> we call ourselves the Republicans, <laughs> unless we can't agree on that. <laughs> then we call ourselves the Demolicans. Because <laughs> we can solve all of our nation's problems with just a little compromise. Now let's start with a safe, non-inflammatory issue first. Most Republicans believe in pro-life, but at the same time believe in execution. <laughs> Most Democrats believe it's a woman's right to choose, but they never choose the death penalty. <laughs> a Republican Demolican has the courage to admit both parties have the same fundamental belief in murder. <laughs> they just can't agree on the timing. <laughs> so if we change the semantics, something we can all live with. Don't call it an abortion, call it premature law enforcement. <laughs> Don't call it an execution, call it a termination in the 94th trimester. <laughs> and finally, teen sex. Republicans believe abstinence curbs teen sex, whereas Democrats believe in sex education. However, a Republican Demolican believes the second your child turns 13, you educate them with pornography, <laughs> starring their mother and father. <laughs> that will curb teen sex well into their 40s. When does life end? That's a good question. I, I mean, let's to, say you're giving. I was trying the, to be funny, and it actually. Let's ended say you're giving job. somebody uh, mouth to mouth because mm -hmm. they're, you know, about to right. die, okay. and then they. When does the mouth to mouth become necrophilia? <laughs> you know, that's, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> you know, once, like, say, you can't bring them back, and you're doing the mouth to mouth, and they're dead, and you're enjoying it a little bit too much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bob can't hear on that side. Bob, you've had more surgeries than me. I have two yes. shoulders. Two knees, brain, and a brain tumor. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, it's funny. That puppy came back. Uh, That's <laughs> terrific. But yeah. it wasn't. It was a benign brain tumor. It wasn't like some big cancer scare, right? Uh, right. I mean, it, well, no, Not it wasn't yet, scary anyway. at all. Not they yet. just <laughs> opened my fucking head and and, <laughs> <laughs> and said, "If you wake up, you'll do better than you did before." So. But when they took the tumor out. Yes. They, uh, they took well, your hearing out of one side too. Yeah. They, well, what they, you know, it's interesting. With the, when they do, br if you're going to have brain surgery, the, the, the drugs are great, because what the drugs do, they, what, in order to get into your skull, which doesn't hurt, by the way, it's just like you see on um, uh, the, what are the Anthony Hopkins, the, um, the, uh, lecture, the lecture movies, where he opens up, you can cut through the head. There's no nerve, so you can get up into the brain. Can't you go into the head through the ear? Um, you could, but I, I couldn't when they did mine. They were going to go through the ear, but they didn't. I've got this big <laughs> question mark on the side of my head. But right. here's, they, they give you enough drugs so that it shrinks your brain, which if your brain is, if you've been a child left behind, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about here. Do but they have anything not, that can expand the brain no, besides they, LSD? Um, <laughs> <laughs> they can, but what they do is they shrink it so they can move it over to the side and they can get into I your... I love it when doctors move things aside inside your body. <laughs> it's just they shift it around. So I had to have my brain moved to the... shrunken and moved to the right, so I watched Fox News for about a month. <laughs> <laughs> Bob Duback, ladies and gentlemen. Give him a nice hand. <laughs>